Hello, this is Thomas Südpacker speaking. In this video, focus on Node-RED inside Lumix, how the implementation is, extract data from the IoT cloud and use it. Node-RED is used to build your own logical sequence. A sequence between different nodes and build your own logic. The node can be out of the box or you can create your own nodes. Um, in this situation, the temperature is sended, extract, and there is a decision which is a good or bad temperature, and create some textures. Here you can see the textures will be created. Then will be sent to the text to speech and provide the text to speech in a playable format and provide this playable format as an audio file here on a WebSocket. So now we have uh, this audio file on a WebSocket, uh, how to play it. The next is uh, we want to play it on a browser and we will get this information from the WebSocket on a web page and the web page is responsible for playing this audio. This is the URL for the audio output. So let's see what's happened. Waiting for audio. The temperature is in safe limits. Okay. This is a text to speech check. You can see connect to the socket and the message event is sent. Um, why is uh, <laughs> information sent? Yeah, as you can see here. Um, currently, um, there is no data uh, provided by a sensor because I have no sensor currently connected. But uh, I send frequently this message just to be sure uh, that uh, the text to speech uh, is running here yeah, for uh, demo situations. Um, so, this was uh, the text to speech. But the next topic is how to handle data. Uh, handle data. We get this uh, temperature information or all these uh, data inside uh, the, from, or from inside the sensor, send it, and then I extract the data here. Extract the data and create some own data because some data is not provided by um, the sensor itself, so I create by myself and immediately put it there and store it in a cloud and database. So let, let's take a look how the format is inside the cloud and database. So here's the cloud and database. and the data. Now we just take a look at one of these data. And um, here you can see that's the format I created by myself. And the original data from the sensor is this, the temperature, the optical information and some additional temperature information. Um, yeah, all the other information, uh, device URL, device type, uh, geolocation, image, uh, status, uh, time, and things like that is uh, created by myself in the moment when I get this data and store it. Now I can provide frequently all the data which is given inside the, the cloud and database by um, a call. So, and provide these to a WebSocket. Yeah. Here in these cases, I have two WebSockets. And um, as you can see, I can build here also my own websites. So, here's something with the geolocation. I created. Let's take a look at it. It takes a little, little bit longer. Here, sending, ping, sending information takes a while. 
you can see uh, the currently is connected. And here is the data, and you can see how that's the data which is provided here from our WebSocket. The next is uh, a website following the same concept, providing all data which is given inside the cloud and database. Connecting to the website, and you can see here you know, I have images and other informations. So this is the entry point for um, the app, which I will show in the next video. The app uh, has the responsibility, yeah, to um, provide an overview on the information on. Uh, the given sensor in, uh, data and uh, if uh, some failure is expected maybe to create a picture of that and um, create a comment yeah and interact uh, this is like here what I created that is like the back end yeah you can see and um, yeah this was uh, the usage yeah a sample usage um, how to extract data and store data and provide uh, data and use uh, services inside the node red on Blomix. I hope the information was useful for you and thanks for watching.